Uh, this is IMO problem five involving Alvin, Simon, and Theodore and their nut problem. So the problem statement. There are two chipmunks, Alvin and Theodore, who have collected 2,021 walnuts for the winter. <laughs> Theodore numbers the walnuts from one to 2,021 and digs 2,021 holes around his favorite tree. The next morning, Theodore notices that Alvin has placed a single walnut in each hole, but hasn't paid any attention to the numbers. Unhappy, he decides to reorder the walnuts by performing 2021 moves. On the kth move, Theodore swaps the positions of the two walnuts adjacent to walnut K. Simon says that there exists a case such that on the kth move, Theodore swaps some walnuts A and B such that A is less than K is less than B. Prove that Simon is correct. So when we look at this problem, it, it's quite difficult to use 2021 walnuts. Um, so we tried a small example with five. Um, so on the first move, the walnuts next to one, which is five and four are swap places. Uh, he then moves to walnut two and swaps the positions of walnuts three and five. Um, and then he goes and swaps walnuts one and two. On, on the fourth move, he swaps walnuts two and five, but since four is between two and five, this is um, the type of move Simon said we'd do. Um, so he's correct in this case. <laughs> Solving this problem involves a couple of key ideas. The first idea is on the kth move to crack the walnut K. So on the first move, he cracks one at one, then he moves to one at two, and cracks that one, and so on. Uh, so the interesting observations from this are on the k move, the walnut k will be cracked, um, which means that on the k move, walnuts with label less than k will be cracked, and walnuts with label greater than k will not be cracked. Um, and so this means Simon's claim can just be restated as, at some point you swap a cracked nut with an uncracked nut. So the second key idea is to count the number of pairs of adjacent cracked nuts, which will be called cracked pairs. So we'll keep a tally of this on the top right on the table. Uh, something to pay attention to is whether the number in each, well, the number in each entry is odd or even. So that's known as parity. So on the first move, Theodore swaps walnuts four and five, and well, nothing happens. There's no new cracked pairs. After the second move, there's also no cracked pairs. But after the third move, there's now two cracked pairs between two and three and one and three. After the fourth move, there are now three cracked pairs between four and two, two and one, and one and three. And after the fifth move, there are now five cracked pairs. So something we notice is that after we swap two uncracked nuts or swap two cracked nuts, the, uh, the parity, so whether a number is odd or even, of the number of cracked pairs does not change. So this is on moves one, two, three, and five. So that's when we swap like two uncracked nuts or two cracked nuts. The parity doesn't change. We go from zero to zero, zero to two, then from three to five. Uh, there's, a there's a few observations from this. At the start, the number of cracked pairs is zero. Uh, and at the end, the number of cracked pairs is 2021. 20, uh, it seems that whenever we make a move that swaps either two uncracked nuts or two cracked nuts, uh, the parity of the number of cracked nuts doesn't change. Uh, this is called the nutty conjecture. To prove the nutty conjecture, we need a couple of cases. So first, when he swaps two uncracked nuts. In this case, no new cracked pairs are created and none are lost, and so the parity stays the same. And the second case is when he swaps two cracked nuts, in which case two new cracked pairs are created, and so the parity still stays the same. 
so using these claims, we can finish the nut problem. Uh, so we start with zero cracked pairs and we end with 2021 cracked pairs. So at some point, the parity of the number of cracked pairs has to change. But if we only ever swap to uncracked nuts or to cracked nuts, the parity never changes. So at some point, we swap a cracked nut with an uncracked nut. So Simon's correct. Thanks, Thanks for, for listening. listening.